Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a grocery haul for the whole month of December. We buy almost all of our food at the beginning of the month. For the whole month, we have 12 people in our family now, although one is just a tiny baby nursing. He's two weeks old. Um, but he does require diapers, which comes out of our grocery money too. So our whole budget for the month usually is $1,300 for the 12 of us. Um, and most of the time I can get well under that. I would say probably a 1200 but I give myself a little buffer there. We have some meat in our freezer from a cow we bought back in the summer and that helps me keep it below the 1300 for sure. Um, but yeah, we're right around 12 to 1300. That includes our household products, toilet paper, diapers for two and you know, nighttime pants for several. <laughs> All of our food, we go back halfway through the month just for some fruit, some vegetables and salad stuff that wouldn't last the whole month and also milk. So let me show you what I bought. I went first to Sam's Club and we do a pickup haul there. So we order our groceries online and just drive up and let them know we're there and they have a free pickup service, which I love. Obviously for us, December is Christmas too. And so I really tried to think ahead of what we would want for the holidays, some special food around. My kids want to do a lot of extra baking. So we had to think harder than normal for our grocery list this month. Included that I, we've already put away is two box of diapers, one for the infant, one for the one-year-old, and some nighttime pants for the toddlers around here and preschoolers and stuff so and let me start out with butter we got extra butter usually I get about two of these packs and maybe two and a half worth if I get them only in two, two pound blocks a month so we got a little extra because of all the baking needs and this is our banana haul this will last not even a week I wanted to try something different our neighbors told us they love these you just add water I need something easy <laughs> once a week uh, we just have a new baby around and I'm not doing as much like homemade from scratch stuff and the kids thought um, the neighbor's idea was a good one. I mean, just add water. Our neighbors, even their uh, seven-year-old, she makes them herself, so <laughs> I figure that might be a really good option for us. Uh, I got some Greek yogurt. The kids have this for snack once a week and then we buy these a lot. If you've seen a lot of my hauls, you've seen these often because they are no sugar, high protein, um, low carb, snacks which is a great thing to have around and then we got a couple of things of tomatoes two things of cottage cheese two huge things of sour cream this is how much sour cream we go through in a month we really do eat all of this it's insane to me i don't know that's a lot but we like sour cream coconut oil that's good for cooking we cook up a lot of vegetables with that and meat and anything actually we cook with it a lot um, we got five packs of these 20 packs of tortillas where well, the kids love these with lunch meat and ham at, um or <laughs> with lunch meat and cheese warmed up and rolled. And then also we do it with peanut butter and jelly sometimes or peanut butter and honey. And these are somewhat healthier for you. See, healthier for you. They're not that healthy, but <laughs> they're okay. And then these pistachios, that's to help um, stock up our trail mix, uh, trail mix that we make once a week for snack. And then this hot chocolate. Actually, I think I got, yes, I got two hot chocolates. That's just to make sure we don't run out. We could be making our own hot chocolate Maybe January. <laughs> Not ready for anything else right now. Making from scratch. Got three blocks of cheese. That's mostly what the kids eat with their lunch. This is emergency mac and cheese. <laughs> that means if Solo and I have an event, and I know we have a couple of them coming up, and um, we don't get dinner made or something, the kids love this, and they'll be happy if we... Oh, another coconut oil, too. They'll be happy if we just do emergency mac and cheese. <laughs> I think we still have some hot dogs in the freezer from the summer, so we can add that to it. Uh, my son asked for this. We do make steaks here and there now because we have all that beef in the freezer. Um, so they're good with, this sauce is good with that. But my son, one of my sons likes to make um, a kind of shepherd's pie with this. So he found the recipe on the back of a bottle. <laughs> I am tripping over high chairs here. And dirty ones too. Okay, two boxes of t diced tomatoes. Just easier for me to get as much as I need to buy those boxes. And a box of canned Rotel, which is like tomatoes with peppers in it already. It's great for chilies and different kinds of recipes like that. And then also for something else I got, I'll show you later. Pretzels. That's just a regular for us for snack and trash bags. This is our laundry detergent we use. And then we got a new dishwasher again because our dishwasher broke and the um, guy who was repairing it told us this is the kind of dishwasher soap we really need to use that it's the best so we're trying it out 
on his recommendation. And two things of toilet paper. Sometimes I need to buy one, and then sometimes I need to buy two. <laughs> we are down to like the last couple rolls in this house, and that is so dangerous when you have 11 people using toilet paper. <laughs> okay, maybe 10. Uh, we got some Kleenex, because we had some sickness last month. We are fresh out, but we're not gonna be sick anymore, so this is gonna last a long time. Pork rinds, this is something that those of us who are eating low carb can eat and to use in dips and stuff. I've tried to get a few things for December that are just more fun and special and that would be one of them. I have some kids that really like those too. So we got some mayonnaise. We go through one of those I think every two months. And then two bags of apples, three things of oranges. Those will all go really fast. Here we'll definitely be needing fruit in two weeks. Um, and I may get some more Aldi too if I can find some good deals. There's some ketchup. I thought I bought one of these two packs of Velveeta cheese, but I got two. So I was just gonna do like a frozen easy meal for Christmas Eve, but my one of my sons said he wants to make a potato cheese ham soup that they absolutely love. So it takes Velveeta cheese, so we got that. And then we also have some chips left, left over from last month, so we'll make Velveeta cheese, and this Velveeta is really good mixed with the can of Rotel or mixed with salsa, which I had to stock up on too. We use that in chilies and taco soups and all kinds of things. Um, but yeah, well, so we'll definitely have some extra of this around. I only needed two blocks, but my kids like to make like homemade mac and cheese with that kind of thing too, so they will be happy. Got some avocados. And then here's my extra hot chocolate and some raisins. Salad, I love salads and I'm ready to get back to eating them. It was hard for me to eat salads near the end of my pregnancy and I've been craving them again. So these, these are also good with lunch meat and cheese for a low carb lunch. And some of my kids really like them too, to eat a snack with lunch meat and cheese in a romaine lettuce wrap. And then I can also use these chopped up as salad. Got a couple things of grapes. This is the uh, sweeteners we mostly use for the kids except when they're baking. So um, three things of maple syrup and two packs of honey. I have one more pack in the pantry already. So I shouldn't run out of sweetener for sure. We make granola with this stuff. We sweeten our yogurt with this stuff. Our oatmeal we sweeten with that. So just whatever we're sweetening we try to use those and I'm trying to get the kids to bake more whole food recipes with those anyway. So <laughs> we'll see if I have any luck this month. Heavy whipping cream. We're gonna make our own whipped cream with our pies, whatever the kids are making that way. I'm not making any pies, but they will be. And we use this for a number of things. I don't know, it always goes fast. I think Solo's using it even in his coffee these days. This is another special buy I got. This is a nice thing because you can eat it low carb too. I mean, it is low carb. <laughs> Probably has some sugar in it though, I don't know. No, zero sugars and one carb. I definitely notice that right after I have a baby, if I can eat really well, I'll shed the weight faster, but if, it, if I go past like a couple months, it gets way harder to lose the weight, so I'm really trying to eat a lower carb diet anyway, um, but on the actual holidays, I won't for sure, and I'll have definitely some cheat days a few here and there, but I wanted to have some good options around um, just because when it feels like everybody's eating special, you wanna feel like you're eating special too, so I really tried to plan that way, um, to help me be successful. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> because I wanna just get rid of some of this weight when it's easier at the beginning, because it does get harder. Here's our lunch meat. I like these pack big packets from Sam's. It's a nice thick lunch meat. Sometimes we get it from Aldi, but um, the kind I get there is not quite as thick and good. We store it in the freezer, and then I'll just cut like one package off and eat that in a week. I got some of this Mexican style cheese. We use these for whatever we're needing shredded cheese for. The nice thing about shredded cheese, I used to never buy it because you know, so they say it has all these fillers and stuff in it, but it is so convenient because it freezes well. So I keep it in the freezer and just pull out bags as we need them and it never goes bad. String cheese is just an extra snack around here and here is another um, low carb treat to have around. Solo and I really like these in moderation. <laughs> when you eat too many, they're gross, but when you eat a few, they're really a good snack. Uh, I love cooking and making eggs and all kinds of things with bacon, real bacon crumbles. It's so convenient. Okay, like I said, I'll give you the total here that I spent at Sam's, but that includes all the diapers I told you about that I didn't show you. And then the other day we had to walk into Costco. We had to. <laughs> we wanted to walk into Costco. I just wanted to see like what kind of sales they have for toys and that kind of thing for Christmas. 
just to look around. But I did pick up a couple of things for the month there that are like nice treats. So I'm gonna show you what those are. We don't usually do most of our shopping at Costco. Our Sam's Club is closer. We have rewards we get through Sam's Club that help a lot. And then also they have a free pickup service. But Costco does have some fun things too. Actually, I think this one might be at Sam's as well. But I got these guacamole individual serving ones. Um, that'll be good with the, what's it called? Pork rinds. And then these goat cheese. Uh, Sam's Club is a big, one big goat cheese. And it goes bad fast. And I'm the one that eats it the most around here. So I like that these are two smaller packs because I can just open one. I th Anyway, it won't go bad as fast. And then my son, Micah, begged for these pomegranate seeds. His papa got him hooked on them. <laughs> so this came in a four pack. He's already opened it up, but he really loves these. One more thing I found at Costco is this, which looks really cool. They're cheese wraps. And they show here, I don't know if you can tell, it shows like a taco salad in a wrap, or maybe it's spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know. You can crisp it, melt it, roll it, wrap it, and they look really cool. Cheese wraps. And they have one carb. I kept telling Solo that this doesn't look like $800 worth of food. Usually, I know I didn't show the diapers, but it usually takes up more space. But he reminded me that we have an extra leaf in our table, so our table is extra big right now. And then I remembered that the frozen stuff wasn't there, so they forgot to give us the frozen stuff. We don't live too far from Sam, so he had to run up back up there, and I'll show you what else was in our Sam's Club order that they forgot to give us the first time. All right, we got a bag of 10 pound bag of chicken breasts, we got a bag of broccoli. And we got a couple bags of mixed, mixed vegetables. These kind of Normandy ones. And these more stir fry ones. And those are an expensive bunch there. <laughs> this here is little Seth. Just brand new still. Tiny, tiny. Oh. oh. <laughs> another day, another store. We are on to Aldi. Jude and I just ran into Aldi. And we've got a lot of special Christmas stuff. It's very exciting. Okay, Jude is helping me unpack it here. He has really been into cooking lately, so he picked out some special ingredients, which I'll show you in a minute. But a couple things of pie crust, that one's for quiche dinner, and one is for making pies. I think we have a couple left too, because they have a lot of pie making to do. And this is just a lot of fun baking stuff, some sprinkles, lots of um, different kinds of chocolate chips, some M&Ms, just for baking. Almond bark, we got those pretzels, so we could definitely do some dips with, uh, they have all sorts of plans here. We have a lot of pumpkins, so we got some evaporated milk. Oh, <laughs> that bread pile. Mike, it worked on that. It's just... <laughs> okay, that's 18 loaves of bread over there. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Thank you, Micah. And powdered sugar. That's something we don't normally keep around at all, so I'm letting them bake to their heart's content, guys. I'm really gonna try to say yes a lot when they ask me if they can bake. That's my goal. And this is all of their stuff. Um, Lord, help me to stay out of it when they got, <laughs> got it baking around here. Uh, here's a little extra cream cheese. I think we have some leftover from last month. That's why we didn't need much. Just four blocks. I got a couple milk. I'm getting most of it at Walgreens or Walmart. But my, um, I'm going to do a pickup order. And I like to do Walmart a lot of times last. Because whatever Sam's, Aldi, Trader Joe's does not have, I can always get at Walmart. And I just needed some milk right away. <laughs> we were out. We're making some fish chowder tonight we need some milk for, and we're making some yogurt this afternoon. Judah asked for this little whisk. He said, our, our whisk is so large family style, it's like half the table big. It's just a mega whisk, not really, but it's really big. Um, so he said we need a little one. I don't know why we need it, but cooking is his new hobby, so I was like, whatever, I was in a good mood. <laughs> Crushed tomatoes. Four bags of that, or cans of that. Two bags of our basmati rice. I got some of this stuff just because it makes life a little simpler and easier right now. Some onions and green onions. These were $2.99 a bag, so I got three more bags. My kids go through those so fast anyway. They love them. Cilantro. I would love to get back to doing all of my once a month shopping on one day. Uh, normally, I can try to make that work, but right now, whoo, it's hard because this little guy that I'm holding uh, doesn't last long without me, and I'm not dragging him into stores if I can help it. Two eggs, same reason I'm getting the big things from Walmart, but I needed some to get by in case Walmart's not ready till tomorrow. We got nine oatmeals for the month. We have a little oatmeal left already. I'm gonna come back to Judah's pile. We got bags all over the floor here. Uh, and that's dinner tonight, thawing. <laughs> that has nothing to do with 
Aldi. We got three bags of potatoes. That'll last us the whole month. And then I did find some dried fruit there. Some of you had told me they had some. These are the only things I could find that didn't have added sugar. They're apples and they're strawberries. I think it's because they were simply nature. All the other dried berries and stuff had a lot of added sugar in it. So I picked up these. That'll go in our trail mix. I got two things of, of sausage. I like just microwaving these when I'm eating low carb. It just helps me have a really quick go-to. Microwaving one of these and putting some cottage cheese on top. That is an awesome breakfast for me. I know these aren't like the healthiest of healthy. In fact, they probably have a little bit of sugar in them. But it's better than eating bread they have a little corn syrup it's like the fourth ingredient it's just two carbs though and zero sugars so it's not too bad and it's it's really just a like just really easy way for me to get some breakfast when i don't have much time so this is port wine cheese this is something aldi does i think it's seasonal we love this stuff it is so good i am really obsessed with it and now my kids are too and i want to eat it all december long we got four of them uh, with my pork rinds and the sausage that I got. We use nutmeg for the granola that we make and it's kind of expensive, but because it's the holiday season, Aldi had nutmeg and some other special spices they don't normally carry, so I got a couple of them just because they're cheaper than how I normally buy them. And then we got french fried onions, not for being green bean casserole, but because there's a family recipe that we make. It's turkey roll-ups with leftover turkey that we put these inside of. The kids love it. It's just a great way to use up leftover turkey. And it goes in tortillas with um, small chopped broccoli and cheese and some cream of mushroom soup, which we also don't buy all the time. So we got some cans of that just to use up our leftover turkey in that fun recipe. Two things of greek yogurt i had a little left from last month that should help and then i found these um several of you have told me about these too that aldi had some <laughs> my baby's squeaking aldi had some popcorn flavor so we tried a couple of those to shake on the popcorn for the kids here's our 18 loaves of bread they made a nice little art work out of that and then 10 loaves or <laughs> 10 bags of bagels for the month seth what do you think about this Okay, Judah, tell me what we've got here. Hope you woke up from your nap. Were we too loud? <laughs> Elbow macaroni? Yeah, I'm making a uh, baked mac and cheese. Ooh. And that's, and the, that's the breadcrumbs, the bread too. These actually came from Walmart. We were in there for some other reason yesterday, and he picked those up. So is that all for your baked mac and cheese special? Yeah. Or is this for that, too? No, that's not for this. Okay. This is for the alfredo and for the pizza if i decide to make it and, this, and then those that's for the same thing too it's a pesto oh there's the pesto okay and the candy canes are for well some of them are for bell's brownies and then i'm going to use some with my oreo cheesecake that i'm making oh okay we got some off-brand oreos <laughs> and i'm also using them for the peppermint ice cream that i'm gonna make. oh and this is for that too this goes in the, peppermint the chocolate ice cream. chunks yeah. Yum. Man, these sound good. We, we decided for Christmas Eve we're doing brownies and peppermint ice cream. And, and Belle's making the brownies. And soup. We're making homemade eggnog and then what else? Oh yeah, soup. This, this is for a Christmas what trifle I'm gonna make. That's gelatin or jello, yes, strawberry jello. jello. Okay. Oh, we got some pumpkin pie seasoning because we saw that with the nutmeg. Baby boy's awake? Okay, I'll be right there. I don't know what I'm gonna use it. For, for sure, besides pumpkin pie. Oh. <laughs> and then we got a couple of green beans, cut green beans and whole green beans. This and is for my green bean casserole. And what's the white bread for? That's for breakfast casserole. Okay. Christmas morning. Oh, you're making that too? Okay. okay. We had some leftover sausage from Thanksgiving, so he's he put it in the freezer and he's saving it for his breakfast casserole. Another day, another haul. Since the last time I talked to you, which was just yesterday afternoon, I cut myself some bangs. Something I've thought about doing for a long time, like a whole week. <laughs> I don't know, I must have been bored. I really was not bored. Bored is not something I've been for a long time. <laughs> but I felt like doing it, so I did. So anyway, let's get on to what do you really care about and what you're here for. I just got done picking up my Walmart grocery haul and running through Trader Joe's. So this is the end of the food. Let me show you really quick what we got. Six milk, that makes eight total if you're keeping track from before. These noodles we eat for lunch a lot. The Ritz crackers are for Judah's green bean casserole he puts on top. These are 60 eggs times three. That's a lot of eggs. 
We got some Halo Top ice cream. They replaced my red velvet with s'mores. That sounds disgusting. They did ask me if that's okay. I said yes. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> this is whole wheat noodles. This is just like for spaghetti one night and chicken alfredo one night. We're going to do some sort of experiment with eggnog. So we got a couple of those. Uh, we love eggnog in this house. The kids do especially. Chopped spinach. Chopped kale. And we just like to load our freezer with these because we cook a lot with them. And then we got some pizza sauce is what I use for spaghetti sauce most of the time. And pretty sure I got six of them. So one might be rolling around in the car somewhere. Luca is making something this month and he asked me for whole garlic instead of the minced that we keep in the jar. So yeah, Judah ordered my groceries actually online for me while I was nursing a baby. And he got some a few more of his own ingredients that he wanted. I'm not sure if he knew this ricotta cheese was so small, but he's the one that ordered this for one of the meals he's making. I forgot applesauce, honestly, at Sam's Club and Aldi, the places I normally get it. That's why I got it at Walmart, and they had to replace it with some name brand stuff when they ran out. I cleared them out, I guess. Uh, veggie spirals. Solo and I eat these when the kids are having noodles. And then Belle is my baker. She loves baking, and she's been asking me for some baking chocolate. So I hopefully Judah got the right kind um, for her. But I know the brownies she makes for Christmas Eve definitely takes that. I asked for this now because I love this stuff. I use it in a Thai dish I make, but this is red curry paste, and we were out. There's some whole stick cinnamon. Those are fun to use around the holidays for different things, and Judah needed these whole cloves. Ugh, I can't stand whole cloves, but whatever. I'm encouraging his passion. <laughs> not sure what he's gonna use these for, but I'll make sure not to bite into one. We got some food coloring for the sugar cookies that I'm sure will be made around here. And then I asked for some small chopped broccoli for that family recipe I told you about with leftover turkey. And they had to replace it with this because they didn't have the small chopped broccoli anymore. So hopefully I can just stick it in a food processor and chop it up small. Before I show you any more groceries, I did want to mention we've had several people tell us that they were subscribed to our channel and uh, YouTube unsubscribed them. And I know YouTube's doing another clean out. I feel like they just did this a month ago, but they're just cleaning out subscribers that are not active or whatever they feel like are maybe not real. And so you may want to check not only our channel, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to us if you want to see more videos, but also you can check and make sure if you were subscribed to us that you still are and other channels that you want to be subscribed to, make sure you didn't get unsubscribed. So that is just a side note. Also, we're probably buying a ham. Um, we decided to wait on that till closer to Christmas. And we may buy a little lamb because we like to make samosas. On Christmas, for Christmas dinner, we try to do a couple more Kenyan things. We don't really do a lot of that on Thanksgiving. It's really an American holiday, but for Christmas, we really try to. A lot of times we make Sukuma Wiki, which is like just a plain everyday dish in Kenya, but it's a great green dish. And so it goes really well with ham and Christmas dinner or turkey and Christmas dinner, um, whatever. And then the samosas are, um, they're really fun to make too. And we have some leftover egg roll wraps that we use to make samosas in the freezer from last year still. And they're still fine. So we may do those too. So that's a couple things we'll add to our mid month list probably uh, that we normally wouldn't buy, but kind of rounds out our holiday food, Christmas food. Last but not least is my Trader Joe's. I got two bags of kale. I eat that for breakfast. If you've been around, you know, you've heard me say that before. Belle asked me to pick up some oregano. Apparently we're out. I wish I would have known before Trader Joe's because I would have gotten a huge one, <laughs> but that'll do for now. And we got a couple of these New Zealand grass-fed sharp cheddar. I really love this stuff. I thought it'd be great addition to that sausage, the sausage roll. Boy, I have a lot of plans for those sausage, sausage rolls. Got some chocolate bars. I love the really dark chocolate. Got four bars of that. And then this stuff is sweetened with a stevia, so I got a couple bars of dark chocolate and a couple of milk chocolate that Solo really likes, although we broke into this on the way home. Ooh, it's so good. I love these, I don't know how to say it, Akmak, Akmak <laughs> crackers. They have very few ingredients. I used to buy them all the time for the kids. And I thought this would be great to have around for like um, appetizers or hors d'oeuvres on Christmas day. So they're not that many in a package. So I got four of those. We did get six peanut butter. We love this kind and I think it's the best deal for natural peanut butter, real natural peanut butter um, in my city anyway. I really wanted to get some jelly or jam that was not packed with sugar. 
we got enough sugar in our lives this month already and I used to use this stuff because it's really good ingredients and I wanted to get it for the kids instead of the jelly that I've been buying. I did forget how small the jars are though so they'll use honey to probably when we run out of this for their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Finally, I walked by a lady who was loving these gingerbread candles at Trader Joe's. I think they were $3.99 and she had it open and she made me smell it and she said, isn't it the most tempting thing ever? Don't you want to eat it? And I had to agree and I bought one. <laughs> So head there if you want your house to smell like gingerbread. It really, it really does smell really good. Wish it was bigger than this, but <laughs> she totally talked me into it. She should work there. They should hire her. I haven't quite added it all up in my head, but I know I'm right around 1300 probably. And when I go to do my middle of the month stuff, I probably will go a little over, but in January I expect to be nice and under my budget so it'll even out. And it is Christmas after all. I knew I would go over, let's face it. So we plan for that a little bit and it's the time for celebrating. So I am happy though that I have all my groceries in the house except for those few things I told you I'll get in a couple weeks. And it just makes life a lot easier and it's a good peace of mind. <laughs> Especially with a baby, I don't have to be running out. I love once a month shopping and I'm thankful I can do it right now. I'm thankful I have the storage for it too. I hope you guys have a, such a great December. Thank you guys for watching today. We'll talk to you soon, bye.